Hey, this is Deeksha from Bonsai Labs. Welcome to this Material UI video. Today we will learn how to bring your React component to the center using Material UI. We will also see how you can make it responsive across multiple screens. We will quickly create this simple login form and see how can we bring it to the center of the web page. I'm using Code Sandbox for this exercise and have already bootstrapped a React project. I also added this latest Material UI dependency and removed the boilerplate code that came with the sandbox. We'll break the problem into small pieces. So the first part is to create a login component. We will not worry about making it responsive or bringing it to the center. Just create the component first. You can create a new file with name login and write the code for that component. But I will write the component here itself just for the sake of ease. We are using grid component from Material UI. And this is our container to hold two text fields and a button. Let's use the direction prop with value column. That's because we want to render everything vertically inside this container. Align the items to the center and also justify all the content to the center. These are out-of-the-box props that comes with grid container component from Material UI. Next, we will add two text fields. Text field is also a component that Material UI gives you off the shelf. This is great because you don't have to write the code for all of these components with a lot of CSS. There are lots of variants of text field that you can use. Here I'm using outlined with a label email and make it appear full width. By default, full width is false. So when we add this prop, it makes the value true. We want to use the same style for the other text field as well and just change the label to password. We need a login button. So let's add a button component. Its size can be large and it should be a contained button. We will keep the color primary. Note that this primary color is coming from the default theme of Material UI. If you customize your own theme, then it'll be the primary color of your theme. We will call our login component here. Well, this is not something we wanted, but don't worry, we'll fix it later. Let's first add a label to our button so it doesn't look this odd. We will also add an inline style with a margin bottom so that email, password, and login button don't stick to each other as close as they are. All right. Not bad. Here inside this app component, we will give some finishing touches. Replace this div with the grid container first. We need to justify everything to the center. And items should be aligned to the center. The direction of items inside this container should also have a column direction. Then we will add two grid items inside this container. The first one will have a typography component with variant heading 6 and color primary. Let's say we will render Bonsai Labs inside this typography component. So this is what we have created so far. But this login component is still kind of sticking at the top. We want to bring it to the center of the web page. And for that, we will go ahead and add an inline style and give it a min height of 100 view height. And that brings the component to the center, both horizontally and vertically. Another thing is to quickly add the spacing prop with, say, value 5. It takes values from 0, which is the default, and up to 10. It defines the space between grid item components. You can use this prop when your grid component is a container, and the integer value that you provide is multiplied by 8 pixel. And that's because Material UI uses 8 pixel baseline grid. You can now test the responsiveness by moving the browser window, and it looks pretty good. Our design also had a gray color border, so we will go ahead and quickly add to the login component, and there you go. You can now test it again, and it works great across all screen sizes. You could also add the breakpoints for various screen sizes in your grid item components, such as XS, SM, MD. I have another video on Material UI Grid. You can watch that to see how it works. Well, I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching and let's meet in the next video. Until then, take care guys.